So, guys, what do you want to do today? I don't know, dude. I'm bored. Cheeto puffs, anyone? Cheeto puffs? Cheeto puffs, Cheeto puffs. Eat them up, eat them up, eat them up. That's Reese's puffs. I don't care, dude. They're still puffy. <gasps> I want one. Oh, man, I can't wait to eat a Cheeto puff. Oh, I'm so good. Wait, wait, wait guys, look. This Cheeto Puff looks like a dinosaur with a long neck, a brontosaur! Whoa, that's sick! Well, it could also be an Apatosaurus or a Brachiosaurus, depending on who you ask, but you can keep calling it a Brontosaurus since you're uneducated. Ow! Guys, I could sell this on eBay for like a million dollars! What? No way, dude! No, you couldn't. Uh, yeah, I could, Cody. People would love buying weird stuff like this. And what are the odds that the factory made a Cheeto Puff that looked like a dinosaur? Junior, I'm pretty sure the factory messes up and makes Cheetos like that all the time. Your face has pimples all the time. Yeah, well, that's because I sleep on a slice of pizza because I like the smell of pepperoni. How much would the starting bid be, dude? I'm going to start the bid at $750,000. Junior, nobody's going to pay $750,000 for a weird Cheeto Puff. Yes, they will. Will, Cody, and you're just jealous because I'm going to be rolling in moolah. Yeah, that's Spanish for money. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. The Spanish word for money is dinero. What? Dinero is a last name, Cody. Like Robert De Niro. He was in Meet the Parents and Meet the Fuckers. Duh. You're telling me his name is Robert Money? What? No, guys, is this really what we're doing today? We're selling a Cheeto Puff? Yeah, we're going to sell it for a million dollars, starting bid 750000 So let me go get my laptop and my phone, and we're going to take pictures of it. Okay, guys, I got my phone. Let me just take a few pictures. Oh, yeah, those look good. And done. All right, Cody, I just listed the Cheeto Puff Brontosaurus on eBay. And I know you said $750,000 was a lot of money for the starting bid. So I made the starting bid $749,900. Look at you being generous, dude. But, Jenny, it might as well be $750,000. It's only a $100 difference. Listen, Cody, just shut up. We're just going to lay back and watch all the bids roll in. Yeah, get that money, bro. Nobody's bidding. Because I have to refresh it, Cody. Watch it refresh to a million. Still no bid. There's someone at the door. Hey, Cody, will you answer the door with me? Okay. Yeah, come on. Junior, why did I have to answer the door with you? Because what if it's a kidnapper at the door, Cody, and he grabs me? You could bite his hand and he would let me go. What if it's two kidnappers? <gasps> You're right. Joseph! No, we don't need Joseph. Let's just answer the door. <sighs> Hello? Hey, are you the kid with the Cheeto shaped like a dinosaur for sale on eBay? <gasps> yeah, that's me. I would like to buy it. <gasps> he doesn't know how eBay works. You could have just bought it online. Well, I don't want to buy it online. I want it now, so I came here to get it now. There's a buy it now option. Yeah, but then there's shipping and it could get damaged. Damage during that, I don't want to do that. I want to buy it right now for a million dollars cash. A million dollars? Why? Because I collect Cheetos that are shaped like weird things. Like I have a Cheeto shaped like the Eiffel Tower with a working elevator at my house. No, you don't. Shut the hell up. Can I buy it or not? Yeah, it's upstairs. Come on. All right. Okay, the Cheeto Puff's right here. Where'd it go? I don't know. It was right here, Junior. Joseph, have you seen the Cheeto Puff? Nope. But, Joseph, what are you eating? Cheetos. But not the one we're gonna sell, though, right? No, why would I do that to you guys? Well, hold on, maybe it fell on the floor. Is there a problem, gentlemen? We can't seem to find the Cheeto Puff. Are you screwing with me? Well, no, it was right here, but we kinda lost it. Listen, time is money, so if you find it, you just give me a call, okay? Okay, come on, guys, we gotta find it. It's worth a million dollars. Joseph, are you eating the Cheeto dinosaur? Look, dude, I'll be honest. We were going nowhere fast. How are we going to get 10 minutes out of this? Wait, so you did eat it? Yes, I ate it. What? what? Oh, my God, Joseph. That guy was going to offer us a million dollars. No way he wasn't. Wait, hey, look. The bid on eBay, it was at $5 million. We could have made $5 million and you ate the Cheeto. Spit it out. No, I'm not spitting it out. It's good. What Junior, you look. The news. Breaking news, okay? A Cheeto that looks like a dinosaur has reached a bid of $5 million on eBay. I was going to offer $1 million in cash, so it looks like I'm going to have to up my offer to $10 million in cash, if they can find the Cheeto. $10 million? You hear that, Joseph? You cost us $10 million. Joseph? Where'd you go? Oh, he ran off during the news. He did? Yeah, he said, I'm out of here, dude. And then he ran away and he took your laptop. He took my laptop? Oh, when I see Joseph again, I'm going to give him a big noogie on his head. Oh, come on, Junior. Don't you think that's a little extreme? And if we play tag, he's going to be it. Okay, that's just cruel. And if we're playing hide and seek, he's going to be the seeker. No, you're just being crazy. No, Cody, he cost me $10 million. Well, technically, it was my bag of Cheeto Puffs, so it should have been mine anyway. No, no, no. You didn't even care about it. You thought it was worthless. Well, I thought it was worthless. And now it's worth $10 million. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to go buy a bunch of bags of Cheetos and pour them all out until we find one that looks like a dinosaur. Oh, come on, Junior. What are the odds we find another Cheeto puff that looks like a dinosaur? You said earlier that that probably always happens. Well, yeah, because I didn't want to do this. Joseph was right. This video idea was going nowhere. Oh, well, it's going somewhere. Come on, we're going to get a bag of Cheetos. Why are you grabbing my ear? Okay, Cody, we're going to pour out all these bags of Cheetos until we find a Cheeto dinosaur. Junior, this is stupid. You're stupid. Start pouring. <sighs> Okay. 
Do you see any that look like a dinosaur? No, they all just look like my wiener that has Peroni's disease. There's a slight curve. Well, keep pouring! Okay, fine. I don't see any dinosaurs. Come on. Wait, what the hell is this? Uh, is it like a prize? Junior, I think this is a nuclear bomb. <gasps> they give out nuclear bombs as prizes? No, why would they give a nuclear bomb as a prize? Because Cheetos are the bomb. Junior, this is dangerous. If this explodes, it could destroy a whole city. You want to play catch with it? Sure. Let's go. All right, Cody, go long. I got it, I got it. Cody, you doofus, why didn't you catch it? Sorry, Junior, you know my depth perception's off. Well, throw it to me. Wait, Cody, what's that timer at the top? What timer? Oh, no. Countdown to detonation. <gasps> detonation? Uh, Junior, this nuke's gonna explode. Uh, let's go call the military, come on. Yeah. Junior, if this bomb goes off, we're gonna be toast. And not like good toast, burnt toast. And not even good burnt toast, radioactive burnt toast. Well, it's ringing, hold on. Hello, thank you for calling the U.S. military. Yes, aliens are real. And if your question's not about aliens, what do you want? Okay, so me and my friends are eating a bag of Cheeto Puffs. Oh, I love Cheeto Puffs. Yummy. Yeah, they're really good. And then I found a Cheeto Puff that looked like a Brontosaurus. Uh, I don't actually know my dinosaurs very well. Hold on, let me look that one up. Oh, the long necky ones, like Littlefoot from Land Before Time. Yeah, I love those guys. Yeah, so I was going to sell that Cheeto Puff on eBay for a lot of money. Junior, get to the point. Tell him about the bomb. <sighs> so then we started pouring out bags of Cheetos on the kitchen counter. Why were you doing that? See, Cody, he doesn't understand. He's confused. He has to know the whole story. Junior, just hurry up. We need to tell him about the bomb now. We're going to die. Okay, so look, my friend ate the Cheeto Puff like the Brontosaurus, so I wanted to go through bags of Cheetos to find another Cheeto Puff like a Brontosaurus, and then we found a nuclear bomb in the bag of Cheetos. Hold on a minute. This is a prank call. There's no way you found a Cheeto Puff that looks like a dinosaur. No, no, it, it's real. I'm not pranking you. What? Hello? <sighs> he hung up, Cody. Well, of course he did, Junior. Your story was all over the place. It wasn't believable. If you just told him we found a nuke in a bag of Cheeto Puffs, he'd believe you. Actually, that does sound insane. So, Cody, why don't we just get in the car and drive away before this thing blows up? Junior, do you know how big this explosion's gonna be? We would never get away in time. Even if we got a mile away, our eardrums would still rupture and our eyes would melt. Okay, so what do we do? Like, what do you think we should do? Well, I suggest we panic! 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 Sergeant Guy, we have a problem. What's the matter, sir? Well, when I was a kid, my mom never gave me braces, so now people call me Gap Teeth. Look. Oh, yeah, that's pretty bad, sir. I'd get some Invisalign. Hmm, <laughs> Invisalign. I'll keep that in mind. Oh, yeah, Sergeant, we do also have another problem. See, we were trying to transport a nuclear bomb hidden in a bag of Cheetos puffs, and it seems that bag made its way to a grocery store somehow, and now we're worried somebody might have bought it. And the slightest touch will set it off with a five-minute countdown to boom time. Well, that seems pretty fucking stupid, sir. Oh, it was! Yeah, it was a terrible idea. We should have hit it in a bag of Funyuns or Sun Chips or something people don't actually eat. Or you could have just not hit it in a bag of chips at all. Yes, that would have been even better. I'll keep that in mind. So what do you need me to do, sir? I need you to go to every store in America until you find that bag of Cheetos Puffs. Oh, well, actually, some kids just called me saying that they found a nuclear bomb in a bag of Cheetos Puffs. Oh, I'd follow up on that. That's probably it. You should call them back. Oh, I, I can't call him back. I deleted my call history and broke my phone because I thought it was a prank call. Damn it, God, you need to find those kids right now. Well, how do I even deactivate the bomb if I do find it? Well, you got to play this game with Simon in front of it. If you beat four rounds, the bomb will deactivate. Hope you got a good memory, Sergeant. Uh, oh, okay, okay, I'm, I'm going to go. Cody, what are we going to do? We're going to die. Somebody call for help. <gasps> Chester Cheeto. Uh, actually, Junior, I think it's Chester Cheetah because he's a cheetah. No, my last name's actually Cheeto, but I am a cheetah, man. Oh, well, never mind then. Wait, Chester Cheeto, is there any way you can deactivate this nuclear bomb? We, we found it in a bag of Cheetos. Can I deactivate that nuclear bomb? I am invented the nuclear bomb. Wait, really? Yeah, let me tell you about it. Okay, we'll make it quick. So I used to live at the zoo in the cheetah exhibit. My name was Chester Cheetah Oppenheimer. Cheeto for short. Kids loved looking at me, man. They'd throw cheese in my enclosure, and I would take a cheese grater and make dust out of it. And that's how I invented Cheetos. The president loved them so much, he said, Chester, these Cheetos are the bomb. Speaking of bombs, I need two big ones. So I said right away, Mr. President, and they locked me in a room with all the Cheetos I could eat and uranium. And Albert Einstein was there too for some reason, man. So I made two atomic bombs. I was in the Enola Gay when they dropped the first one. I looked back and saw the explosion, and that's how I went blind. Then they dropped the second one, and that just made me sad. 
So I've been snorting Cheetos and being depressed ever since, man. That was a really sad story, Chester. But can you help us with this bomb, please? I can't defuse that shit, man. What, then why did you tell us that story? I'm blind. What do you expect me to do, man? Get the hell out of here, Chester. All right. Junior, he just wasted so much of our time. How much time do we have left? <gasps> we have 34 seconds, Cody. Okay, kids, I'm here. I can defuse the bomb. What, you can? Yeah, but we got to play Simon. Wait, Simon? Yeah, so dude, play Simon. Oh, oh, just win? Yeah, 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 win four rounds of Simon. Four rounds? Yes, four rounds. Simon. Okay. Solo. Uh, I'm solo. Yeah, solo. Blue. Blue, blue. Blue, blue, green. What? What the hell? Well, I, I pressed yellow. Can I restart? Junior, I think we're gonna die. What, we're not gonna die. Uh, red. Red, blue. Activated. What's that mean? Five, uh, four, I, I, I think that means three, we're out of time. Two, so what's gonna happen? Well, I think one. it's gonna explode. I can't believe Junior actually thought I ate that stupid Cheeto, dude. <laughs> oh man, I saw that five million dollar offer and I took it. <laughs>